Uh, my name is Fernando. So the person, uh, the name of the person on this presentation uh, introduction slide, Linus, is not me, but I will be him uh, uh, in the sense that he, he, he provided this uh, slide and uh, I didn't have time to put my name. But uh, uh, yeah, all the credit goes to him because he, he did a, a good job um, uh, to put all the material together and uh, uh, so I can I could give the presentation to you this morning. So I will I will talk about monitoring the, the forecast system at ECMWF. So we are a small team of people uh, which uh, uh, every week we dedicate our time to look to the weather forecast uh, uh, to the into the future but also into the past to see how the how the system behaved uh, or performed. And, and somehow the next slides is a kind of a, a wrap up and a summary of our, uh, our activities. So um, uh, unfortunately the COVID uh, um, um, basically blocked us to, uh, uh, let's say, live in this nice environment, which is ECMWF. And what you see here are two pictures uh, which shows the what we call the weather room. So the weather room is a, a kind of uh, agora, if you want, uh, where people could meet uh, every day for uh, informal meetings or, uh, you know, coffee breaks or, you know, passing by the weather room and discuss with the analyst on duty about some uh, aspect that... Uh, 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 could be discussed or could be written down in the, the in the daily report, and, and you can see here Esti, the the lady with the with the red and black shirt, uh, trying to introduce the the activities of uh, of the monitoring our monitoring uh, system uh, with some people that uh, visit the center at that time. So it's a nice, uh, you see on the wall, this nice display of screens with the, with the forecasts for several parameters. Uh, it's quite, quite interesting where people are also invited to, let's say, interact with this, uh, with this panel that you see on the wall through these uh, pods, these vertical pods that you, you see in the middle of the, uh, or just in front uh, uh, of the of the weather wall. Okay, so just to summarize a bit, what Sam also briefly uh, 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 explained in the previous presentation. Uh, basically, we can uh, divide these uh, steps in in the NWP by by you know uh, let's say uh, uh, describing in terms of. Uh, uh, Fernando, we lost the sound. I'm assuming. Fundament is an initial, initial condition problem. So observations are crucial for us to make a forecast in the future. So what we have is many observations, and Sam uh, spoke about 800 million uh, observations that we are using per day uh, in order to produce the best analysis. Uh, and, and then, of course, the best forecast as possible. So we have different observation types. Then, of course, with all these kind of observations, we need to have a quality control because, as you can imagine, uh, uh, we may see some issues uh, uh, time to time with the quality of the observations. And once this quality control is done, then we are, let's say, able to produce the analysis uh, using the 4 var so the data simulation component of the forecast system and of course the forecast itself is is based on on the this on the on different components which is which represents the the, the dynamics you know the atmospheric physics so the parameterizations the radiation convection you know uh, uh, 
uh, and so on. But also we have the fluxes uh, uh, that uh, basically uh, uh, occur between the surface and the ocean and, and the ocean itself. So the dynamics of the ocean itself. So everything has to, has to be put together in order to have the, the uh, of, uh, let's say, uh, the best representation of all processes that occur in the atmosphere and the ocean and the interaction between these two and also the land between these three main major components of the Earth system. And of course, we have to produce this in a timeliness way. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, it's just a kind of an, a research exercise to produce a forecast. So we have to produce forecasts that can be useful for the for the metrologists and the users in general. So and and for this, we have to have. Uh, also a, a, a very greased machine in order to uh, deliver this in a, in a very uh, speedy way in order for them to analyze and produce products for the end users. And, and then at the end of this chain, sorry, at the end of this chain, we have the evaluation. So we, this is our part, our responsibility as well, which is to look to the forecast, understand any significant or try to identify any significant